Bonjour mes amis, we are in Mauritius. Amidst the vast expanse of the ocean and under the warm embrace of the sun lies an idyllic scene. It's hard to believe the deadly danger hidden beneath this peaceful landscape. Here, amidst this beauty, lives one of the world's most venomous fish, the reef stonefish. Meeting the devil's creature could cost you life. Today we'll explore how its toxin works, why it's so dangerous and what to do if you accidentally step on this creature from hell. Ready? Let's dive in. The stonefish, known for its remarkable camouflage, is a highly venomous fish that seamlessly blends with its surrounding on the ocean floor. There are several species of stonefish within the genus Sinansia, with two of them extensively studied and considered the world's most venomous fish. They are widely distributed through the shallow water of tropical and temperate areas of the Indo-Pacific. Measuring around 35-50 cm in length, the stonefish has a flattened body covered in mottled patterns resembling frogs or coral, aiding in its disguise as it waits for unsuspecting prey. It possesses up to 15 dorsal fin spines that are erected when disturbed, each equipped with potent venom making it one of the deadliest inhabitants of the sea. These spines serve purely as defensive mechanisms erected by the fish when threatened. Their stings are extremely painful and potentially lethal. Each dorsal spine is associated with a pair of venom glands with approximately 5-10 mg of dried venom. When someone steps on a stonefish, the pressure forces the venom through ducts in the spines and into the wound. The severity of symptoms typically correlates with the number of spines involved in envenomation and the depth of spine penetration. The secret of its venom lies in its many poisonous molecules working together. And because of its complexity, we still don't fully understand how it works. But let me share a story with you. Once upon a time, one girl went for a vacation in South Africa, you know, to have some rest from her lab work. But she was clumsy. And she accidentally stepped on not one, but on two stone fish. Can you imagine such a bad luck? She felt intense pain. Her leg began to swell, her heart started to beat slower and irregularly, and she struggled to catch her breath. Luckily, she was a biologist and she quickly recognized the symptoms of stonefish envenomation by two main toxins, stonus toxin and verrucotoxin. Stonus toxin is a dimeric protein that acts like a nano shotgun and creates pores in cellular membrane. The symptoms depends on which membrane this shotgun targets. If it targets red blood cells, it can lead to hemolysis. If it makes holes in the blood vessel cells, blood flows into the tissue, resulting in swelling. It's very dangerous when your lungs swell, because you cannot breathe in. If it attacks cardiac muscle, it can lead to cardiotoxicity. The rucotoxin also a protein, but it starts a chain reaction inside cell. Usually, our cells communicate with each other using molecules as a messages and other cells can read these messages using special protein called receptors. Message molecule attached to receptor and starts a chain reaction inside cells and cell does what it was asked to do. We call it response. The rucotoxin behaves wildly and acts more like a spam message for muscle cells. It binds to beta adrenal receptor and increase calcium concentration. Calcium is really, really important for muscle movement. And this disbalance can slow heart rate, make it bit irregular, and tighten bronchial muscle, which can lead to one of the most dangerous consequences of stonefish envenomation, respiratory arrest. You cannot breathe. As these toxins were proteins, the girl knew that the first aid would be to soak her food in warm water around 45 degrees at least 20 minutes. At this temperature, bones within proteins break, turning them inactive. This process is called protein denaturation and the boiled egg is the best example of this phenomenon. Warm water is helpful, for sure, but it's even better to have a medical help on its way. Thankfully, doctors came fast and gave her antivenom, which made of antibodies. It's basically the same antibodies that your body produces when you have a flu or COVID, but they specifically target these toxins. And they act fast because you don't need to spend time to produce them. Horses already produce them for you. 
Antibodies stick around these toxins and prevent them to harm your body, prevent them to make holes in your body or spam your muscle cells. And they also act like a signals for police cells, for macrophages, that these criminals should be eaten. It's good that our police don't eat criminals, actually. But the girl is fine now. And she hoped that the video was helpful. And you don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Have a safe vacation and see you soon. Bye bye. Depend on which membrane this. Other you, which. Usually our cells communicate with each other using. using proteins disrupt, turning them inactive. Bye-bye. Sashka! Sashka!